And to begin our dedication ceremony, I would like to welcome our building principal, Mr. William Clark. Back in 
the mid-70s, there was a terrible, terrible windstorm one day. And Dick gave Chris and me a call, and he said that his Uncle Pat and Aunt Moo, who's here tonight, had a slight problem. There were these huge white oak trees that had blown down in their backyard, and they just didn't know how they were going to get rid of them. Well, Dick, Chris, and I were all trying to heat our homes with firewood. So we all loaded up in our 1970-some-odd station wagons, <laughs> and down we went to Pat and Moo's house, and we knocked those trees apart and carried them down a hill and into our station wagons, and after four or five trips to Bergen County, we got all that firewood. And for the next 20 years, Dick and Chris and I collected firewood. <laughs> and Dick was one of the most competitive people I've known in my life. <laughs> you think? Early on in his teaching career, he got hooked on tennis somehow. I don't know how, but he decided he was going to be a tennis player. Well, he got so involved in his tennis that he was going to put a tennis court at his home. And he was working on that plan until one day he and his chainsaw fell out of a tree and he shattered his ankle and that was the end of his tennis career. But not the end of his competitiveness because he found something else. He found martial arts and he found philosophy and who is as competitive at those as he had been at tennis. And eventually, he found golf. And I don't know whether he was any good at golf, or he could just intimidate the rest of the people who he's playing with. with his mouth. But he was a terrible, terrible competitor. And when it came to Dick's students, he loved them the thousands and thousands of students who he saw here at Mars Knowles. And that competitive spirit came through all the way to his students. The one thing that Dick really, really wanted out of his students was not necessarily the sweetest voice. It was the competitiveness. To be competitive within themselves. To bring out the best that each and every student possibly could. And I am sure to the faculty of Morris Knowles High School and to all of the students who have, who have performed here tonight, Dick would have been proud to have you give the initial performance at the Richard P. Eckstein Auditorium. Thank you. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> but tonight, his children, those of us at home, and his former students, and many others, are here as adults to celebrate how valuable a teacher's role is in a school and in a family. The lessons of my father's humor, his fierce energy, his bold assertions, and his sense of responsibility were always evident in our home. And it wasn't until after he left teaching that we discovered that his lessons reached far outside of our home. For almost 12 years now, we've been continuously blessed with stories of how much our father touched the lives of his students far beyond the music. Even in losing him, we've gained a new family composed of his former students, his friends, his colleagues. All of us are joined in honoring his lessons and remembering his respect and love for the unspeakable beauty of music. With my father's illness and eventual passing, all who knew him lost something very dear. We are fortunate, though, in that we gained a powerful understanding of what he had and an enduring connection among those of us who knew and loved him. To know that his memory is preserved here at Morris and Oval brings our family incredible pride, in spite of how humble he'd be if he were here today. In any event, I'd like to thank everyone, including all of the administration, of course, um, members of the Special Education Department who initiated the notion of the dedication last year. Mr. Clefie for following up on that notion. The Board of Education for approving the dedication. Mrs. Morgan for organizing the wonderful details. Jennifer Schneider, the president of the Coral Boosters. The staff and friends who donated food and time to the reception. And the ever supportive maintenance department who've been still another integral part of making tonight such a success. Finally, thank you to Mr. Schwartz and the band, of course, you've been wonderful, and to Mr. Semantic and the choral students for sharing the concert with this dedication ceremony and with our family, and for continuing the tradition of the Morrison Choral Program as an undeniable success. Thank you to all. There are too many of you to thank individually, but I hope you all know how much your presence here and energy is, is appreciated. We may have lost the, the warmth of my father's presence, but we still have the comfort of his music. Please enjoy the music this holiday season and know that you are all in our hearts. Thank you. Thank you. 